nuclear war. Subject of endless documentary, spy thrillers, novels, films. Did any of us think for one moment that any of it could actually happen on our watch during our time? If you'd asked me, I would have told you it was impossible. It would never happen. Ask any of the officers here. They all would have told you the same. Surprisingly, it all started in Korea. Evil 2 1, Alley Cat, copy. Sword 5 1, Chalice. Evil 2 1, push 15 minutes. Sword 5 1, Chalice. Chalice, Iron 5 1, wicked, switch tactical. Sword 5 1, push tactical. No, if there's North Korean troops inside South Korea, that's an act of war. Push tactical, you're push 17 active. My name is Sue, and I'm the wife of a soldier. And here's what I've learned so far about the start of nuclear wars. 
They begin with the little things. Like that raid in South Korea. And that other raid that followed. I remember that day. The U.S. Defense Department has called an unacceptable and irresponsible act. In response to the provocative act by North Korea, a U.S. Air Force B-52 Strata Fortress conducted a low-level flight in the vicinity of Osan Air Base, South Korea, and the U.S. Air Force F-16 Fighting Falcon. Here in Cairo and across the Middle East, Africa, and Asia, protesters threw rocks at police who responded with tear gas. The demonstration occurred near the heavily fortified U.S. Embassy, but that has not stopped protesters from blaming the American government. Demonstrators shouted anti-U.S. slogans and demanded just... So it's that time again. I've been seconded to the Marines in the Middle East again. I can't tell you any more than that. I'll be fine, just like I always am. I love you. I love you too. I'll see you soon. Hey, where's your brother stationed at the moment? Aaron, uh, he's at some big exercise in Guam or Japan or someplace. Two raids, one in South Korea and one in the Baltic Sea. Both on the same day, both virtually an act of war. But you haven't heard the worst of it. That ship, the F-101, was carrying NATO's full response if Russia decides to invade the Ukraine. So you think the Russians did it? Pretty much everyone does. But here's the thing. Before each and every one of those attacks, we detected a massive spike in data and traffic coming from an entity inside the U.S. Every time. Well, what do your superiors think? They think it was just coincidence. I mean, but it's way too specific. It happened on two of these raids, and it happened on the raid with the oil shipments about three weeks ago. What would you like me to do about it? Mike, your FBI. You can investigate the U.S. angle. I can't. I don't know what kind of influence you think I have, Dave. Where would I start? We've narrowed down the source to a 40 mile radius somewhere to the west of Washington, D.C. I'm sending you some files now. Yeah, sure, send them through. I'll take a look. Let me know what you can do with it. Okay. Thanks, man. I'm sure you can understand how important this might be. Okay. Dave, be careful.
Is it possible for one man, or a group of men, to orchestrate a series of small incidents around the globe that could drag us into war? From B-2 bomber flights over the Korean Peninsula to destroyers off the coast and missile batteries in Guam, U.S. forces are showing they are ready to tackle anything that North Korea sends their way. Meanwhile, both North Korea and Russia continue to deny any involvement with last week's raids in South Korea or the Baltic Sea. The Pentagon's options include air power to knock out North Korean missile installations, long-range bombers that could take out its nuclear sites and government complexes, ships and truck-mounted batteries to destroy missiles before they hit their targets. North Korea's closest ally, China, opposes any unilateral military act in the area. North Korea has threatened to attack South Korea, the United States, and other U.S. allies. We become complacent. All of us. Been living in a dream world. The threats that had been thrown around for so long, most of us hardly noticed anymore. Until it was too late. Some kind of report. Sir, a message from Stratcom. We've been ordered to the Korea Strait. Stealth mode, weapons hot. Over. Hey, some kind of. Dive. Dive. Monster deck armed up 160 feet. Open that fence. So where are you exactly? I'm in an area about 75 miles west of Washington, D.C. So your buddies at the Pentagon come up with some lunatic theory that somehow links a U.S. group to these military attacks, and you don't think I'll notice when you disappear off on some wild goose chase for these guys? Someone needs to check it out, Captain. I really think there could be something to it. The data's pretty compelling. I mean, every one of those attacks could have been carried out by 50 men or less. All of them push us closer and closer to war. Only if you're a conspiracy nutcase. How about this? How about the ISIS crazy man did it? And the North Koreans did it? And the Russians did it? You're saying that some entity in the US secretly planned these raids in order to slowly draw us into war? I mean, why would anybody do that? And how would they do it? Please, Captain, just, just give me a little bit more time out here to check it out. Fife, I want a full accounting of every hour and every day you're spending on this, and I want it on my desk Monday. Is that understood? Meanwhile, it is now 25 days since the terrorist attacks that set fire to hundreds of oil fields across the Middle East, and still they burn. None of the key terrorists have yet been caught, including their leader, Hassan al-Shari. 
Experts say unless the terrorists are stopped, large-scale war in the Middle East may be imminent. Hello? Hi, honey. I'm just checking in. Yeah, I found a quiet spot where I can talk. I'm on a set phone. It looks like I'm going to be pretty busy over here. Will you be careful? Oh, you know me. So what's new over there? I guess I haven't been away that long. Not much. It's pretty uneventful here. Sir! Okay. Well, I gotta go, honey. I love you. I miss you. prices skyrocketing. Oil prices could reach historic highs if the unrest continues. Leader, this is Alpha Team One. We need CAS aimed at the tree line 300 meters north of our position. Over. Roger that. We're inbound now. 
I'm showing a very large contingent of enemy hostiles. Extremely heavily armed, over. Dragonfly, you are cleared hot. Say again, you are cleared hot. Over. Roger that. Use the helicopter as cover! Move forward! We gotta get out of the open. We're still under heavy fire, Dragonfly. Roger that. Coming back around. Dragonfly 2 inbound. The helo's inbound. Use them as cover again. Go, go. Gotta make that tree line. Dragonfly, hit him with all you got. Over. Roger. Coordinates four one minus six by one five minus five. Over. Roger that. Medics to attend to kill the wounded. Over. Okay, Roger. We're moving. Alpha teams, we're heading north, about 1.5 clicks to the edge of the base. Maintain radio silence as long as possible. Over. Teams, we're going in. Stealth and silence. You know where the targets are. Move out. It's too quiet. Overwatch. You see anything? Negative, sir. Unit 2, head west. Alpha 1, I've got movement. 60 meters from your position. RPG! RPG! More inbound!
sir. The enemy's got an S4 machine guns and RPGs in a position to dominate the whole complex. Roger, I heard that. We're already inbound. Over. Troops on the ground are all too aware of the rising death toll, which now... Recent ...oil prices is unrest in Libya and other Middle East oil-producing nations. Sir! Are you okay? Roger that. Dragonfly leader, we gotta take out that tower. Danger close, say again, danger close, over. Roger that. Urgent fire, Dragonfly! Urgent! Roger that. We're inbound now. Yes! It's shooting, Dragonfly. Targets are destroyed. Say again, targets are destroyed. is now clear. Time to get those chariots we came here for. Capture if possible, kill if necessary. Go, go. Mission accomplished. Let's wrap it up. We've lost a lot of good men tonight. Too many good men. broadcast the threat saying, quote, those who provoke North Korea once will not be able to escape its unimaginable punishment.
Five. Agent five. Nine. Who is this? Seven. Ten. Six. Nine. Five. Eight. Four. Hello. Three. Six. Two. Five. T minus ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. One. Lift off. Nico. Gene. Give me a quick trace on that number that just called my phone. One moment. Yeah, holding. That's a military number out of Syria, sir. Syria? Can you put me through? One moment. Hello? This is Special Agent Michael Fife, FBI. Did you just call this number? Call your number. You've reached a secure military line out of Syria. Why would I call you? Who am I speaking with exactly? This is Lieutenant Caleb Jones, U.S. Special Forces. You have no right to call this line. And what are you doing in Syria? What I'm doing is classified. Listen, did you watch the news? You see those two oil terrorists get taken down last night. That was you. That's why I'm here, trying to stop those terrorists from causing major war. That's all I can say right now. Well, I'm in the States, trying to do pretty much the same thing. I'm sorry. Obviously someone's fooling with you. Yeah, but why would they want to connect me with you? Why you exactly? There's got to be a reason. Hi, Mom. So did Caleb get away okay? Yeah. Not liking the look of the mess he set it into. And I haven't been sleeping well. I'm not sleeping either, but we have to be... Try to be calm, okay? What channel are you watching? Um, the local news. Another thing on North Korea. Washington moved the naval strike force into the region while Pyongyang warned it would retaliate against American aggression with nuclear weapons specifically targeting both South Korea and the U.S. mainland. A U.S. aircraft carrier group will join the South Korean fleet in the Yellow Sea. North Korea warned... I can't believe this is happening. ...would the push US the Korean peninsula to the brink of war. Russian forces sitting along the Ukrainian border. Rioters have smashed windows and broken into shops. Looted stores and fought with police. Similar scenes have engulfed other major cities. USA! USA! Kiev accuses Russia of massive troop buildups in the Donbas region. Of tens of thousands of Russian troops near the Ukraine border. Over. Copy that, ma'am. So 
copy. I'm going to uh, pull it back. One one's going to chase him on that. I'd like to get uh, aces two on out to the Ezra's. Copy. Aircom, we have target on radar. Closing to intercept. I see it. Break formation, it was far. Unidentified Russian aircraft, you are trespassing over Ukrainian airspace. You are requested to halt a course and clear this territory over. Closing in for a better look. Back off, Eagle 3. Fox 5! Fox 5 times 1! He's firing missiles! Fox 5 times 2! Craig, go out! What's his target? No target! He's firing them as a warning! It's like this guy wants to get shot down. Russian aircraft on all frequencies, alter course or you will be fired upon, over. Alter command, this is Eagle One, requesting permission to fire, over. Eagle One, you are clear to fire. Say again, you are clear to fire. Five. Mike, it's Dave. Did you hear about that Russian plane? No. Our guys just shot it down over the Ukraine. I mean, the Russians are throwing a fit. They're threatening all kinds of things, but we got that spike again. I think we're going to be able to narrow your search area right down. So what am I actually looking for? I don't know. Computer hubs in the middle of nowhere. I mean, comms towers. Anything that looks out of place. Sounds unlikely, I guess. Yeah. Totally insane is the phrase that my captain used. Now he's got me on a real short leash. Well, I'm grateful you're out there, man. Look, someone's got to go check this stuff out. You just keep doing what you're doing. I'm sure something will turn up. Okay. Thanks, man. going to be part of the landing, part of the first wave ashore. In North Korea. What do you mean? They've halted the exercise and they're headed there now. The amphibious guys are going in first. Do you know what Aaron told me today? Something I've never heard him say before. What? He said that 
He doesn't think he's going to make it back this time. He says he thinks this time is different and his number's up. I've never heard him speak that way, ever. This is happening in the vicinity of the battalion objective. We are considering this dangerous. We are also considering this hostile. How do you tell the winner of a nuclear war? Is it the one with the most missiles still left? The most planes in the air? The least cities turned to ashes? Is that how you tell? The USS George Washington arriving in Korean waters. The aircraft carrier is the centerpiece of this considerable show of force off South Korea's east coast and in its skies. Hello? Hi, honey. Just checking in again. There's a lot going on here, so I don't know how often we can talk. Are you okay? Caleb. Hey, have you heard about Aaron? Apparently he's going in in the first wave. An amphibious landing in North Korea. A landing? I didn't know that. Hold on a second! 
something! It's about to get rough! Breaking news this hour, a mass landing of U.S. Marines in North Korea. The shooting war has finally begun as bombs rain down on the north-south border and the city of Seoul is completely evacuated. U.S. sources claim that every nuclear weapon and facility in North Korea has been destroyed. While the Marines approach Pyongyang from the east, a giant fleet in the Yellow Sea is to attack North Korea from the west. Experts say it will be another 24 hours before that fleet actually enters North Korean waters. Meanwhile, the Mideast oil crisis has also taken a dramatic turn. Despite two of the leading terrorists being taken down by U.S. forces, the mastermind of the raids, Hassan al Shari, is threatening further attacks as nations across the region prepare for war. A week ago, I could have been forgiven for thinking none of this would happen. But now, here we are. With 50 ships in the Yellow Sea and soldiers storming the beaches. And one of them is my brother. And my husband is who knows where. Governor 1 1, this is Red 995, over. 995, go for 1 1. Clear to engage, over. 995, 1 1, understand the clear to engage. 95, copies all. I'll pass to my higher, over. 
Lieutenant Jones. Lieutenant Jones, this is General Conlon, SATCOM. Just wanted to commend you on your mission two nights ago. Very impressive work. Which brings me to today. You've been briefed on your mission, but for various reasons, you've not yet been briefed on the target. I'm here to tell you that your objective today is the kill or capture of Hassan al Shari, the top mastermind of the oil attacks, as you know. It's a huge base that we think they're holed up in, and we've had it under constant bombardment for the last seven hours. We've taken out the airfield, we've taken out the armor, and we've forced them underground, but we're still bombarding them now. Shortly we'll be sending a Bravo team with a ground convoy and your teams via helicast. Is that all understood? Roger that, sir. I'll brief them in. UH-1's in attack formation. He's gonna lay down to cover and fire. This base was built on a huge system of old military tunnels. Nobody knows how old they are or what's really down there. Al Shari's bunker is deep underground. We've located a point where you can blast your way into those tunnels and find that bunker. Take only a small team. The tunnel should be mostly empty, but who knows what you're going to find down there. refuse to go inside. We don't know the reason. Maybe superstition, maybe something else.
All our intel says Hassan al Shari will be in that room. It's like a maze down there. on your e-maps. It's just 200 meters to our objective. Down here. Shh. I think there's soldiers coming. Down here. I think they're behind us. Since war is at stake, your mission is to find the bunker, capture or eliminate the target. Agent Fife speaking. This has been going on for too long, Fife. I need you back here and no excuses. I just got too much going on to have one of my most experienced agents off on some wild goose chase. Just give me a couple more days, Captain. This could be important. Well, have you got anything that's actually concrete in hand? Well, we've narrowed down the search. I want you back here, Fife. First thing tomorrow morning, in this office. Don't let me down. Thank you.
Meanwhile, the U.S.-led fleet is now just seven hours from entering North Korean waters. China has warned the United States that it will not sit idly by and allow North Korea to be attacked, but so far has made no move to intervene. The U.S. ground invasion force, meantime, has approached to within 130 miles of Pyongyang, with very few losses so far. Cell phone. Caleb, it's about Aaron. The transport he was in has been hit. Is he okay? He's in a coma. The driver is dead, and four of the other soldiers. They're transporting him to one of the aircraft carriers. You know? Big fleet. Look, that's probably a good thing. Those ships have some of the best medical facilities on the planet. He'll be well taken care of there. He said he wasn't going to make it back. Listen, don't worry. He'll be fine. He's probably in the best place he can be. It is now just 30 minutes before the U.S.-led fleet enters North Korean waters. The fleet is now headed by three aircraft carriers and number 70 vessels, including ships from Japan, Canada, and South Korea. Both China and Russia have issued severe warnings to the United States, but so far, taken no action to intervene. Five minutes now until the first U.S. ships cross into North Korean waters. The U.S. claims to have taken out not just every nuclear site, but also every airfield in North Korea. The big question on everyone's lips is what kind of nasty surprises North Korea has waiting for the Allies when they arrive. A reminder that we will stay with this live feed from the region as the first U.S. ships now cross into North Korean waters. What is clear is that the United States is in total control of the skies, making them seemingly impervious to real danger. I'm showing a large metallic object rising off the seafloor. A submarine. Negative. Wrong shape. It's rising right beneath us. Man battle stations.
We apologize for that loss of transmission. We suddenly lost all our feeds from the fleet, and we're still unable to contact any of the ships. Satellite imagery is not yet available, but there are reports of an enormous flash of light around the time that we lost contact. Some are speculating that what we're seeing is the result of a nuclear attack, but this cannot yet be confirmed. <laughs> in that we have a new live feed from two Navy helicopters headed for the region. The ship you see in the distance is the USS Bainbridge, which is also headed at top speed for the area where the fleet was last seen. days in U.S. history, the helicopters are closing in on the search area now. As you can see, at least one ship remains above water, though clearly very badly damaged. The pilots are reporting to us that they think this is the USS Cromelin, one of the destroyers at the very back of the fleet. Coming in closer now, you can see the huge billows of smoke. They've tried signaling the ship with no response very difficult to imagine anyone surviving under those conditions. The other helicopter is reporting one more ship, <laughs> seemingly the USS Ogden, which again was one of the vessels at the very back of the fleet. You can see this ship is in much worse shape. Looks like it's very close to sinking. From what the pilots are saying, these seem to be the only two vessels for miles around. Not even a lot of wreckage left behind. If the rest of the fleet has indeed gone down, that makes this by far the worst maritime disaster in Allied history, with possibly more than 30,000 lives lost. Total chaos here, look. I think we might have found the hub you've been looking for. It's at the end of a dirt road. It's not too far from your location. I'm gonna send you over the coordinates now. Yeah, I've got it. Be careful how you approach. Copy that. I'll call you when I get there. Confirmation through from the Chinese government that indeed this was a nuclear device. But they're claiming the North Koreans were acting in self-defense. The Chinese say that if the U.S. retaliates with nuclear weapons against North Korea, then China will be forced to strike back. I'm so sorry. Listen, listen. There's something you need to do immediately. You need to get yourself out of the city right now. You, you can't. 
can't afford to stop and grieve right now. Listen to me, the, the US will counter-strike and the Chinese may well get involved. We're talking nuclear war here. Okay. You need to leave right now. No, I don't understand. In, in half an hour, the roads will be clogged with people trying to leave the city. Okay? Wh where? Can I Sue, can you hear me? Caleb! Sue! some kind of What do you do when you're on a countdown to nuclear war? Thank you. 
35 seconds and counting. Minus one minute, 10 seconds and counting. Minus one minute, mark and counting. Minus 45 seconds and counting. Minus 35 seconds. Minus 27 seconds. 20 seconds and counting. In the 20th century, you people are safe. In the 21st century, we 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 10, 9, 8, 5, 